For this project, I started with an 8x8 canvas painted white, and then I took celestial glass, which was purchased on Amazon. It's just chunks of glass, and this was one quarter inch, and I uh, put it inside the cookie cutter. Now, this was spray painted with Krylon stained glass cranberry red spray paint. And in order to get this color, I had to give it five or six coats, letting it dry 15 to 20 minutes between each coat. I filled it right to the very top of the cookie cutter. And then I took Mod Podge, one half strength, so one part Mod Podge to one part water, mixed it up real good, and just started spooning it over. You really have to saturate the glass um, over and over to make sure every little part gets uh, some of the, the uh, Mod Podge on it. And it will leak out from underneath. That's fine. Just leave it. It'll be fine. Then I took some pearls and put that all over the heart and then I took some iridescent beads which were about the same size as the pearls and put those all over the heart and then I took some silver kind of silver sparkles to give it a little sparkle and put those all over the heart and um, because the Mod Podge isn't as glossy as the resin you really need to give it a little sparkle and then I put some more Mod Podge over that just to make sure those all stick. And I left it sit there for about an hour. And then after about an hour, I came back and I started draining it. What I did was I just tipped it back and forth, back and forth. And uh, let it drain always. It's fine. It gets all over the canvas. That's where you want it. You're going to be brushing it all over the canvas. Then... Um, after it set and drained for a while, I just started brushing it around, getting little pieces of glass off or any residue that was on it off, but you're just brushing the um, Mod Podge off, but you still want to leave a little bit on. And then when you're satisfied with it, you lay it flat and you take the top off. You take the cookie cutter off. And it all held together just fine. And then because I wanted a little bit more of a sparkle, I took some iridescent sprinkles and I sprinkled that on top. In addition to sprinkling on top of the heart, I sprinkled it all over the canvas to make it real sparkly. The Mod Podge will leave a little gloss finish on it, but it's nice to have a little sparkle too. Now this with the Mod Podge has to dry for probably close to four days. I don't know if you remember the project I did with the, Chris, the Mod Podge Christmas tree, but that was on glass so you could actually look under it, through the glass under it, and the Mod Podge um, stayed wet for like four days. It slowly, slowly dried. You could see the drying process as it happened. It was a video I did about a month or so ago. If you want to take a look at it, you can really see what it looks like and why you have to leave it set for four days for it to completely dry. Also, while this is drying, at least for the first 24 hours, it cannot be sitting on the paper, protective paper. It has to be sitting up on a couple cups or else it will stick to the paper below it. So at least for the first 24 hours, you can see how I have it sitting up on some little cups. So next I decided I was going to do the same thing, only with the crushed glass. And I filled it up a lot lower. I put the iridescent beads on it. I mixed up the one half strength Mod Podge and poured it over it. And I immediately took the cookie cutter off of it because um, it was so much lower, I felt like it wasn't going to fall apart. And then I started um, draining it and painting the canvas with the Mod Podge and kind of brushing the extra pieces of glass off and um, clean, you know, cleaning up the canvas. And then I took some iridescent sprinkles and put it over the heart and over the canvas and let it dry for four days. Now this glass was prepared in the same way. It was sprayed with the Krylon stained glass cranberry red spray paint, but this glass had um, some sparkly qualities already whereas the celestial glass did not and that's why I put more sparkles on the celestial glass. 
And then was when it was dry, I decided to put a pearl necklace around it. So I used the silicone caulk and I put a bead of caulk all the way around the perimeter of it. And then I attached the pearl necklace <clears throat> and I must have knocked a couple of little stones loose because I put some more uh, Mod Podge on it and then let that dry again overnight. I had picked up this little vase at a garage sale that had a little necklace around it that said love and I took that off and I took the little uh, ceramic saying off of it and glued it to that canvas. I thought that looked really cute. So here I'm just showing you the difference in the heights of the glass and I decide to go ahead and put a pearl necklace around the tall one also with the celestial glass and this time for some reason I attached it with li liquid nails but uh, either way is good they both hold fine and you can't see it it dries clear it is clear and it dries clear so then I was done with the project. Hey everyone, so these are my two Mod Podge hearts and I think they are adorable. <laughs> I like them. So the main difference between the two was um, this heart here is a lot taller as far as the glass goes. I put more glass in the cookie cutter and this one um, less glass. This is the first time I've used this kind of glass for Mod Podge because it doesn't have a real sparkle with it. Usually um, what I've used in the past is the crushed glass and the crushed glass has a sparkle to it, whereas this doesn't. So I add some added sparkles to it. So anyway, I'm going to show you how strong it is. <laughs> Not one thing fell off and um, they really turned out cute. And I have a problem with, I guess, centering stuff. I always end up putting it a little bit to the left or the right, but um, I kind of offset it with that little love sign there. I thought that was real cute. And you can see how this one, the glass is kind of inset as far as the, um, in comparison to the uh, pearl necklace. Whereas this one, you can see sticks above the pearl necklace. I don't know if you can see it from the side. It sticks above the pearl necklace. So um, I wasn't sure if it was the Mod Podge was gonna be able to hold it. That's why I dumped so much Mod Podge on it multiple times. But you see how I added the sparkles to it and it really makes it glisten. I think it's beautiful. So now this project you could easily do with resin also. You know, any of the Mod Podge projects that I do, you can do with resin. I just wanted to show you how to do it with um, Mod Podge because I know a lot of people don't, you know, are kind of leery of the resin. And I, I've heard comments that, you know, they like to work with resin, but the problem is um, the resin they use, you know, you have to wear a respirator. Well, then the project has to dry in the house with the resin and those fumes go all through the house. So just depending on what resin you use, um, like I had said before, I'm not an expert on resin, but I know the ones with the VOCs, which are the fumes that can be harmful. You know, when they're mixed, the fumes from the resin can be harmful to you. Now those resins are usually a lot less expensive and I've started using the Art Resin and I have another resin, um, Black Label, that I'm gonna be trying also <clears throat> that doesn't have the VOCs and it's supposed to be just as safe as the Art Resin. And I'm having a hard time not wearing a respirator with the art resin. I know that I know that a lot of people don't, but um, so the anyway, um, that's enough about resin. These are Mod Podge. <laughs> so anyway, these um, I think they turned out cute. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. If you like the video, hit the like button. It helps the channel. And if you want to see future videos, subscribe. Have a great day.